WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 176, half a percent, 8 percent. Eight tenths of a percent, I should say, for the uh, some uh, for the S and P, thirty five points. Nine tenths for the Nasdaq, 100, 137, one and a half points for the Russell, twenty seven point move there. Semis are off sixty dollars. Uh, that's one and seven tenths. Three percent for the Trenes. That's a four hundred forty five point move. You got gold up twenty four bucks. Silver's off six pennies. Light to crude up a buck seventy three. Natural gas up four cents. And the thirty year Treasury printed out one oh nine. Even Stephen, that is down one full point. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. ES Mini upper left hand side. What do we have here? We just have a good old fashioned consolidation with inside its daily profiles. It runs from the range of 43.33 up to 44.30. If we take a look at the spot volatility, spot volatility is trading above yesterday's high. That would be bullish for the spot volatility. That would be bearish for the S and P 500. If you look at the Nasdaq, uh, one the NQ out here. It's just an inside day, big, wide-ranging um, profile, though. And if we get a close today below 15, 204.83, and follow through tomorrow, that likely is signaling to you and I that price is going to pull back to the bottom of its profile out there. And that's at the price point right now, 14.676. The U.S. dollar index on the move, but also just consolidating with inside its profile levels. Up to the top, watch 106.42. To the downside, it's 105.57. If price closed above 106.42, we'd be looking to move back to its roads momentum indicator top. And that's in the 10705 range. If you take a look at Goldilocks, today will become bar number eight. Why did price stop where it did? Well, you've got resistance from a weekly standpoint at the top of its profile. And that's up at the price level of 1964.50 out there. Again, today is bar number eight. We will get a TD9 count top tomorrow if gold closes above 1941.50 tomorrow. Silver already has a TD9 count top. That's going to confirm today. Should confirm today. I mean, you need to see a one gigantic sell-off for that not to take place. And that pattern will complete tomorrow. If we take a look at Lightspeed Crew, it's inside its bullish structured daily profile. It is trading above the center of that uh, bullish structured profile. That suggests to you and I a run for the high, the high of the uh, uh, the uh, TAS market profile, the top of the box, 91 and a quarter. If we take a look at natural gas, it has found support at the 0.618 retracement. From its last move from low to high out there, that's the only support that I see. The 30-year Treasury, it's testing its buy the deep point support at 108.29. Close below that, we're headed much, 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 much lower. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Folks, thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for the Trader's Head Show. Have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.